Hello, Pisces. This is going to be a love and guided spread <clears throat> for the 15th through the 30, 31st of the month. Yeah, we're in December. All right, guys. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate for everyone. Okay. Merry Christmas to those of you who do celebrate Christmas. And Happy New Year. Let's see. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on for Pisces? One more shuffle, guys. My Pisces. Here you are, ooh, with the world. Your challenge is the Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Your foundation is a strength. Oh, wow, Pisces, I like it. In the past, Two of Swords. In the present or best possible outcome, is justice in the near future we have the ace of pentacles what you think of yourself is a page of wands what's going on in the environment is the chariot hmm. your hopes and fears is a page of cups And then we have the Seven of Pentacles for the possible outcome. This is a present, I'm sorry. All right, guys, so currently you're going through some major changes, major, major changes. You've just ended something that um, I'm sure was not a good cycle for you, but that's ending or has ended, and you're starting something brand new at this point. And I see that you're aspiring to have a stable, solid foundation with somebody. Very solid connection, um, possible marriage, I feel like here, with the Justice card crowning the reading, okay? Now, in the past, you were the two of swords, so I'm, I'm getting that because now you're going through um, a major shift in your life, a major change, making major decisions for yourself, that you were very indecisive in the past about something, um, something very hurtful, I feel, I feel like. And that has to do with the relationship because that's what you're aspiring to do right now. Not only are you aspiring to have a solid relationship, but also that you are trying to build your finances up you're trying to gain stability in that arena as well here with the ten of pentacles challenging you so that is what's going on okay now the reason why you're here is because whatever this indecisiveness was in the past you found the strength to pull yourself out of that you found the strength to pull yourself out of that. And guess what? And you're doing it the right way because justice is here. The scales are being balanced. So what this is telling me, where you're at right now and where you came from, what your challenge is, that is something that you did in deciding something in the past that was a good move for you. It's a good move for you, whatever it was, however you handled that situation with whatever was bringing you down in the past, you handled it in a boss way, okay? Because guess what? This is the near future, starting over. 
receiving a tangible, solid, stable, grounded offer. This is a new beginning for you. This is a new beginning. And I'm thinking either an earth sign is involved, you have a Libra or Leo somewhere um, that's either in your chart or the person that you're thinking about in their chart, okay? This is how you see yourself as a page of wands, taking things slow, not moving at a fast pace at all, taking the time to check things out, to plan, and move accordingly. Because this is a page, and pages are young energy, um, sometimes immature energy, but I don't feel like this is um, immature. I feel like this is the mature way to handle things because I feel like in the past, you felt like you jumped the gun with something and then you ended up having to decide to move on from that, okay? So now you're just functioning as a page and not coming right out as a king or a queen and jumping into things with both feet, okay? So then in the environment, we have the chariot, okay? Now the chariot is somebody that sees a future with you. They are coming towards you so fast that, and this person may already be in your life. This is cancer, but it could be any other water sign as well. This is somebody that's moving towards you so fast because they see a brand new start with you. They want to. They want to offer you something. This is also quite possibly a marriage proposal here with the Ten of Pentacles as your challenge. To get to that point with somebody where you are vibing so that marriage is, is the next possible step. That kind of situation I'm feeling strongly here. Okay, and in your hopes and fears, here we have another page, okay? And this is, like I said, I don't feel like it's immature. I feel like you're being smart. I feel like your steps are being guided for you to not, you know, come in as a Knight of Cups, rushing, you know, being in love with love, just kind of, you know, taking inventory, weighing things out. So you can maneuver and be able to discern, you know, what is good and right for you here with the Page of Cups. But, but the cups are there because you do want to give emotion. You don't want to be closed off. You just don't want to give an influx of emotions here, okay? So here we come with the possible outcome with the Seven of Pentacles. This is you having put out your seeds and watching them grow everything that you have accomplished everything that you aspired to do it shows up here in the seven of pentacles waiting for prosperity waiting for not waiting like anxiously waiting but just that you know it's coming because you see it okay you see it all right, guys, so that is your love and guidance for the 15th through the 31st, and I will be speaking with you soon.